This is my IL-10 1946. I love it. This baby isn't a great fighter. It's a bit too fat and a bit too slow. It doesn't feel quite as brick-like as the IL-2 does. There are a few great qualities that allow me to relax when flying the IL-10. Firstly, it packs a lot of firepower. The NS-23 cannons have a lower velocity than the alternative 23mm, but can be potent when you get used to them. Four of them makes for fun times. The air target belt contains traces that seem to dazzle a lot of players in head-ons, and they spread a fair amount, but you can get the odd precision shot in. Secondly, it's very well armed. This allows you to fully commit to a head-on and come out the other side in better shape than the chap you shoot at. You generally only fear 30mm rounds for an instant death. Thirdly, it has a 20mm rear turret. A 20mm rear turret. Seriously, the rear turret is a 20mm cannon and nobody knows or even cares. This, with a little patience and planning, allows you to upset a lot of different fighters, most of whom are more than happy to just sit on your tail. Fourthly, it has a 20mm rear turret. I have so much footage of people flying behind me I had to make the point twice. So don't underestimate the IL-10, and despite it not being a game-winning ground attacker, you can still have a little fun and help your team. And remember, it has a 20mm rear turret.